really very really excited about math. I was more excited about reading novels than I thought I would become a writer one day. I got excited about it, maybe just as a challenge. But then I realized that it's really nice and that I enjoy it. These were quite difficult times. It was during the war. Right after the war, I had a lot of opportunities. I went to a very good middle school and then high school. And I think I was the lucky generation because I was a teenager when things became more stable. My main interest is understanding structures you can put on a surface. There are different ways of looking at it. Either you have a surface with some additional geometric structures or this kind of problems are related to understanding the space of such structures. One very famous example is if you have a billiard table and you start from a point and you hit the ball and it hits the boundaries and it moves say, forever, you want to see the trajectory of the ball. Would it cover all your billiard table? Can you find closed billiard paths? And interestingly enough, this is an open question in general if you don't put any restrictions on the angle of the polygon that you started. There are two types of questions. One is about you have a surface with a geometric structure and you're trying to understand some properties of this geometric structure that you have. The other questions are related to you have a surface and you have a geometric structure and you start deforming this geometric structure and then you want to see what kind of surfaces you would get. Some of the problems like you know the properties of a generic surface, a random surface, but it's really hard to say something about a single given geometric structure on the surface. Some of the work that I've done with different collaborators shows that sometimes the surfaces are very similar to the ones of a generic surface. You can ask these Luciana Díaz, soy licenciada, profesora y licenciada en matemáticas. Decidí estudiar matemática a los veintitantos años, cuando después de haber pasado varios años por distintas carreras, contador público, licenciatura en economía, y opté por matemáticas porque descubrí que era lo que amaba. Para pagar mis estudios daba clases de matemática y digo, bueno, esto es lo mío. Así que me decidí y empecé a estudiar el profesorado en matemáticas. Y después, no, digo, quiero más. Así que me fui a la licenciatura en matemática. Y a las chicas que están estudiando o están pensando en estudiar matemática, les diría que se sumen, que se animen, que si ya les gusta, después la van a amar. Eh, así que bienvenidas a la comunidad de matemática y que eh, nada les impida lograr sus sueños. soy licenciada en matemática, decidí estudiar matemática en los últimos años de secundario, era el área que más me gustaba y descubrí que me gustaba mucho enseñar. A las chicas que hoy quieran estudiar matemática le diría que si esa es su vocación que la sigan, que es importante hacer lo que uno ama. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Mariana Gabriela Torres, soy licenciada en matemática, recibida en la Universidad Nacional de la Patagonia San Juan Bosco. Mi gusto por la matemática comenzó en, el, en la escuela secundaria y me gustaría decirle a todas las chicas que quieren estudiar matemática que la matemática está en todas partes y en todas las áreas. Por ello, quien estudia matemática puede trabajar y aportar en diferentes áreas de la vida.